How do we establish it's from God? How do we establish it's not been corrupted? So I'm giving you a prophecy from the first book. And Moses, he had a book. Jesus, he had a book. So this is progressive revelation. Everyone had a book. Okay. Everyone had his own book. No. Yeah, but you've fallen into a trap where no, no, no. you're saying you progressive revelation. But then you can't claim progressive revelation if you don't know what's in the book. For example, Hafs. Hafs is, is the Quran you use, yeah? Like, Hafs. recitation. Hafs is the reading, yeah. Exactly. So do you have contemporary evidence of Hafs existing? Yeah, we have, the, as I told you, chains of narration going back to the prophet. I said you have contemporary evidence. That's that question, I'm saying, the name, just give me the name of one person who, independent of the time, confirms what's in the, the Quran. Uh, can I say something? Yes. Are you connecting with me on a, on a human level? Right. Because I'm talking to you, you're talking to me. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not going to explain something for the people. I personally, I come to connect okay. with the person. Okay. Okay. So let's talk to each other, not okay. talk to the cameras. Well. Not talk to yeah, yeah, yeah. What, okay. do you, what do you think about that? That's fine, that's fine. All right, let's so, go. in terms of the word of God, obviously it's inspired, but that's why I was asking your understanding. So Leave the camera. That. Because the thing is, inspired, because inspired can have different viewpoints that Leave may that aren't contradictory but may seem Leave contradictory. <laughs> For example, if we I, I, I think I, I understand yeah. the point. So no the writers were writing uh, from their perspective. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about so, clear contradictions. I'm not talking about things that you can interpret in a in certain way. Well, but you know and to a certain extent yes. A clear contradiction is a clear contradiction. And it depends on what you define as a... Give me an example of a clear contradiction. What do you think is a clear contradiction? A uh, clear contradiction. Uh, all humans die. Yes. But this guy is a human, but he doesn't die. Okay. Clear contradiction. Okay. This is a clear contradiction, okay? You cannot argue anything yes. about that, because if he's a human, yes. by nature he has to die, because you yes. just made the claim that all humans yeah, die. Yeah, of course. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? This is a clear so, contradiction. So when people talk about the contradictions in the gospel, they're not necessarily contradictions because, for example... Yeah, 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 no, 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 no. It's, it's before, before we go yeah. to that, because we said we, we want to establish a criteria yeah, yeah. for the Word of God. Yeah, yeah. But before I, I, I start doing that, I'm going to have to say something. I okay. hope you don't take it offensively. Anyone I speak with over here, yeah. I'm just hoping for them to be honest. Okay. If I find someone in, intellectually not, uh, not honest, okay. I'm, I don't know the word in English anyways, it's not yeah. my first language. So if I find him... Dishonest, yeah, dishonest intellectually. Okay. I'm not going to continue the, the discussion, but I'm going to finish with him on a, on a on good terms. Okay. This is me personally. Uh, okay. I don't know what, how people do things, but this yeah. is how I do okay. things. So, I'm hoping you are intellectually honest, and I'm, I'm, I'm also, I'll try to be intellectually honest. Yeah. If you see that I'm not intellectually honest, you can tell me why. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so let's define the criteria for the word of God, as we said. Yeah. According to you. I said, I said my definition. Yeah. Uh, no, con no clear contradictions. Yeah. Uh, a guidance for people. Yeah. Okay. What What else did I say? Uh, yeah. yeah. No mistakes in it. Uh, yeah. Let me Let me Let me go further. The people who wrote it actually claiming it's the word of God. Okay. Uh, it has something that has to be mir miraculous about it in, in in one sense. Okay. Because it's the word of God. It's, yeah. uh, if it's Normal speech, anyone can write anything, you know? Yeah. It has to so say, it has, it has to claim that this, this is what I said. Yeah. This is what I said. I okay. said the writers, they have to claim yeah. that it's the Holy God. And the fifth one, it has, something has to be miraculous about that. Okay. Uh, yes, miraculous is subjective, we're going to say that. But something has to be miraculous about that. If you disagree with any of the points, let's yeah. discuss them. If you agree, let's add the, the points from your perspective. Okay, uh, I, that I generally agree with. Okay. But again, that's why I say we have to understand the literary style. So it depends on what you define as a contradiction. So I told you. Yeah, yeah, so, so I'm, yeah, I'm just kind of recapping. So okay, if it's differences in stories, then I wouldn't see that as a contradiction. It can be contrast in stories. For it, because people can... Give me examples from so, the Bible. So for example, um, let's say the, the death of uh, when Jesus resurrected, for example. Yeah. Some may say uh, they saw uh, an angel. Some may say that there was the, the Roman soldiers were there. Yeah. So people can recollect different things, but it constructs yeah. the whole yeah. story. Can I add something about yeah. it as well? We wouldn't find things in it which I would say silly and stupid. From what sense? That an all intelligent entity, okay. all knowledgeable entity, yes. they would not give such orders. Okay. For example, if we say God told us to, to walk naked in the streets every day, 
That's we subjective would, though. Okay, how is this subjective? Because it depends on what... So would you believe that this is the word of God if, they, if, they, if, if it's written in it, yes. walk naked every day? Uh, well, it depends on what what the context was though. Like, I, it, it, you yeah, know yeah. What I mean? The context has, yeah, yeah. has an extent, but... Okay. But maybe but, we should... But because this but, is coming from... Okay, but maybe it's easier to focus on examples, do you know what I mean? Like... Definitely yeah, we'll do, yeah, we'll yeah. do, we'll do, but we're putting points right yeah. now because we have to have also points okay, before, before I'll starting your premise, premise. Yeah. yeah, so God does not order silly things. He's the all-knowing, he's the all-wise. Okay. The... So everything he says, there's a purpose behind it. Okay. And we have an intellect to reflect upon the, the orders of God and the word of God. Okay. Anyways, any, any things you, uh, you want to add? Um, yeah, so I'd say in terms of uh, what we would call, I would say what something is called inspired, it doesn't necessarily have to be state explicitly that, oh, I am the word of God, you know, because if it comes from a prophet or someone who's, the, the, we'll naturally associate tell you, that with them. I can tell you the problem with that from my perspective. If we say this scripture is coming from God, what's yeah. the purpose for, of, uh, of it? So it'd be as a guidance for the people. So if, if God is sending a guidance, for, I, I only this point I'm going to talk about. Yeah. If it's sent down as a guidance for the people, God at least has to tell us this is my guidance. Or how else would we know that this is his guidance? Well, this is the thing. So that's why when, when we read the Bible and the story of the prophets, for example, what would so that would come down to the miraculous where the veracity because anyone could necessarily claim anything from god that's why we have many many uh this is why we have and, this is why we have this criteria we just made yeah yeah, yeah. this is why we have this criteria yeah. because anyone can claim anything yeah but that's, that's, why, that's why we have a criteria yeah but that's what i'm saying the criteria of the book has to say it's from god that's why we have many books that say they're from god so okay that's that why we analyze in itself we is analyze not, yeah it, otherwise it'll be circular so no 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 it's 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 not a, it's not proved in yeah, itself exactly. but Yes, it's uh, it's my from my point of view ne necessary. Why? Because if God if God is sending us guidance, He's yeah. gonna tell us this is my guidance. Yeah. Or elsewise, let's say He sent down a book. He didn't say this is my guidance. Some people read it and they left it alone. Yeah. Who's gonna pass down the message yeah, there, anyway? There has to be some association yeah, there has to, with. There has to. Yeah, with, there has to be God. some association yeah. with God. And, and there will have to be. And say some, this is a guidance for you yeah. in some sense. There'll, you know? there'll have to be some sort of as again miraculous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, this is one of the attributes to it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, I would say there would have to be in terms of like eyewitness accounts like reliability within no, yeah, itself yeah 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 100%, 100%. Um, you know this is why i told you we, we also we have to know who wrote it yes because if we if the if the writer is unknown okay for example how can we trust him well it if the writer is unknown how can we how can we trust <laughs> that what he's saying is true well it depends because there's two parties i would say because we can look at the context of the time do we have also information supporting it is there historical evidence supporting it? Because supporting what? In, in the claims in the Bible. So it could so be, I, for example, listen, if it's a Bible. I understand. I understand. Scripture. I understand. Yes. So if there's a statement and the and the history history is actually supporting it, yes. you're saying it's true. I don't disagree with that. Okay. I don't agree with it, but I don't disagree with it. But okay. what I'm saying is, how do you know that the other things are also true? Okay. We could know, yes, this you could substantiate okay. by history. So, but what about the other so, things? So rather than talk about conjecture, let's actually go into the text. Yeah, no problem. And no then, problem. Because we're but just do, do we have a criteria now? Well, some, yeah. sort, some sort yeah. of a criteria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll say what you said is pretty much agreeable. Okay. So in terms of why the Bible would be the, the inspired word of God, Yeah is because you have, for example, the Old Testament and the New Testament. Yeah. So the Old Testament has what we call prophecies because yeah. a prophet is someone who speaks to God and who tells something to come. Yeah. So now, if we find in that book um, discussion or verses alluding to something further to happen, would then understand that that book is divinely inspired. Yeah. So I agree with that, but, yeah. but if it has certain predictions that didn't come to pass, well, then it probably wouldn't be uh, our book. Yes, exactly. Okay. So, I think this is a criteria in the Bible as well, isn't it? Yeah, in a sense. Yeah, in a sense for the prophets. Yeah, yeah. In, in yeah. The if they say something that doesn't yeah, come yeah, to pass, yeah, yeah. then yeah. they may not be a true yeah, prophet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, they, it says, how do we know that he, they are yeah. true prophets? Yeah. If they, if what they say come to pass. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, the biblical narrative of prophets was that magic exists, like real, like demonic powers exist. Like, like, we believe that magic know, exists I, as well. Okay. You don't have to, to no, no, establish it. <laughs> yeah. But how the prophets um, uh, establish himself? Because yeah. 
some a false prophet can also meet the criteria that we've just agreed upon. So when we look, for example, if we look at the story of Moses, he went into okay, Egypt. Okay. Can I ask you something yes. before, before you continue? Because the book we believe is divinely inspired by God. Yes. Speaking of criteria for a prophet, we cannot add to the to the criteria we take from it. Yes. Because it's the word of God. Yes. So if it has a certain criteria and a certain person is fulfilling that criteria, we have to accept him as a as a prophet of God. Okay. Do you agree or disagree? Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. You, let's continue. So, but do you understand the point as well? Like with prophets, they had to prove themselves against other people. Yeah, they had to have a certain type of miracle. Yeah, yeah. To exactly. prove that they actually were coming from God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, or, or uh, how else would you exactly. know that they are prophets? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that. So I'm just making sure we're. Yeah, on we agree. We agree on the, like Moses splitting the sea. We, yeah, we yeah, agree yeah. on these yeah. kind of. Okay. Things. Yeah, no problem with that. So in terms of the the biblical narrative. Yeah. So the book was obviously supposed to be given to a nation the Israelites yeah. and that book the Old Testament which they you know was carried with them until the time of Jesus and then yeah. we believe Jesus came with the, the Gospels I wouldn't know about the, 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 the Torah being preserved until the time of Jesus personally I, I don't know if you have evidence for that right? well, but let's continue no well, but, I, we don't want to stop in everything yeah, because yeah. as I told but, you it's but not just, about you know, but just to um, address that claim yeah because sometimes I think people fall into a false premise of you have to prove it's not been corrupted but we have something called the burden of proof so the burden of proof states that we go with the status quo unless someone can prove otherwise for example it's like me saying to you prove to me you're not a homosexual but how would you do that I'll tell you, I, I understand, understand, I understand so what you're therefore saying. that's why I'm just so the idea is it. if you're making a claim you have to provide evidence well the the idea, this is the burden of the truth is yes. the person who makes a claim he has to provide evidence for it no no, so you don't. You don't agree with this premise. I'll, I'll bring I, the, I'll bring the definition I'm, of burden of proof. No, the, the burden, the, not the burden of, pr okay. of proof. I'm talking about if a person makes a claim, yes. does he have to have evidence for it or not? Well, if if the claim is a Torah, because if you say he doesn't yes. need evidence, anyone can make no, anything. No, but what I'm saying is, if they have the Torah, they can't prove it's not been corrupted, because then you fall into a fallacy. So therefore, the proof because, is the okay, Torah itself. But but they wouldn't be saying it's it's uh, it's preserved. If they say it's preserved, they made a claim. Yes. They could say, we don't know if it's corrupted or preserved. Okay. They could say that. But, but they can't say it's preserved. If they say it's preserved, they made a claim. You understand? Yeah, because, but you, no, yes. but that's what I'm saying. You're falling into a fallacy because that's Some why... Fallacy, yeah. No, because if they say it's preserved, you're going to say, prove to me how is it preserved. Yeah, is that a claim? <laughs> that's your My claim. book is preserved. Is the claim or not? Yes. But I have to substantiate. But that's why... I will go into the definition of status quo. No, I, I'm not gonna go into definition. Yeah, because, because I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why I'm not going in, because yeah. I'm not talking about the burden of truth. I'm yes. talking about another principle, which is the one who makes a claim. Yes. he has to substantiate with evidence. No, but this is different from, from yeah. the definition you're talking about. Yeah, anyway. but that's what I'm saying. If you have a burden of proof, how do you prove that it's not been corrupted? You can't using evidence. In what sense? Give me an example. You know, I think you know the, the, the what the what kind of evidence the Muslims use okay. for, for the preservation of the Quran. I don't have to okay. say it right so now. This, the criteria, until, we go, okay. until we go to All right. the, pro, the the Torah. Yeah. The criteria is they because had. Wait, let me give you an example. They had all the prophets. Yeah. So the prophets were in charge of preserving the Torah. Yes. That is a form of transmission. But but not all the prophets came with the Torah. You mean after Moses? But yes. But the, 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 the you mean after Moses. Yes. Are you sure? No, they it's in, they had to observe yeah. the Torah. I don't think I don't think I don't think the, the prophets yeah, but let's, let's, by any means yeah, have but, to preserve the No, but the listen, let's, let's use our intellect. If a prophet comes and the Torah is corrupted, because the prophets came to say make sure you're following I'll tell you, okay. right, let me, let me, I understand let, your evidence. Yes. I understand your point yes. of view. Your point exactly. of view is yes. if the prophet comes yes. and the Torah is, 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 is corrupted, he's, he wouldn't be able to use it. Exactly. For example, I'll tell you why this is wrong. The prophet can come yes. and the Torah be, being uh, corrupted, then he can rectify the people. This is number one. Number two, okay. the prophet can come with a new book, new instructions, okay. new laws. These are all things that can disprove this premise you're talking about. But then if they come with a new book... We because I'll tell you something else. But, because before but you wait, say, before but, you're saying... But let no, me no, make, before, address that point. Because if yeah. you're saying they come with a new book, yeah. we then have to go to Okam's Razor. Because if you're saying they could have come with a new new book, because Okam's Razor says... I know, we, we, I know what yeah. that's So therefore you're making an assumption. Now you, assumption. you've just made the claim that they could have come with a new book. So I said, no, no, I'm giving yeah. you the, the other possibilities. Okay. Because you said they have to preserve it. I told you no. They could do this, they could do that. But the idea is, yeah. before us even claiming that they have to preserve it, okay. we're gonna have, we're gonna need evidence for that. We're gonna need evidence, for, for example, from the Bible, that it says the prophets had to preserve the Torah, or the prophets had to do it. How do we 
we know that? How, because, we are, we're making, just making a claim out because, of the prophet. Because the Bible says... You try to, you try to make the claim, like, the claim logically, yes. that because they, they're going to have to use it. So I gave you two other different possibilities. Okay. They don't have to use it because uh, they're I'll, receiving I'll, I'll, direct I'll, revelation. Uh, because from the beginning, God said, um, obey my commands, right? So what? So, the, so therefore, God says, if you do not follow my commands, yeah. You'll be punished. Let's, go back, you, let's, go, back, let's command, go back to my possibilities. Yeah. If the prophet is re receiving revelation, he's, give, he's going to give you the command of God. He yeah, but let me to... let me let me just go with Continue, my point yeah, no because we have to ask the, establish the criteria. So if God is saying to the people, these are my commands, right? He said, obey my commands. Yeah, different. Than these yeah, but are I'm, my I'm just paraphrasing. Okay, so I'm not reading them, saying the best yeah, word for yeah. word, but, but paraphrasing. Think, so we're talking about the Bible right now, and yeah, we don't so talk about. Have, yeah, but we have the laws of Moses, six hundred and thirteen laws for the Israelites. God says. If you obey them, he, he will not, like, they'll be fruitful people. If he will bless them, if they disobey the commands, he will, uh, like, he'll banish them into foreign lands, he will punish them basically. So, therefore, if the Torah gets corrupted, they cannot abide by the agreement that they had with God because God made a covenant. A covenant is agreement that if you do this, I will do this for you. So therefore, I'll if tell someone... You, I'll tell you what's wrong about that. No, because this is the standard. Because if you have... A, this is why God um, gave Moses the laws. Therefore, if the people cannot follow the laws, the agreement is broken. So you're either saying this... I'll tell you, I'll tell you, no, 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 no. If, I'll tell you what I'm saying and you, and you tell right. me what you think about it. You said God said, obey my laws. Yes. How do you know that this is not only for the people at that time? And the one who came with this saying is a prophet anyway. So he's, he received revelation. So it doesn't go against my premise anyways. He said, obey my laws. He probably is talking to the Jews because he's talking in the Torah. And he's telling them, obey these laws I gave you. You guys. Yes. He might bring new laws, new laws for this person. Or new laws for, I think you, you kind of believe that. But we, you believe you have but, new laws. But, Do you follow the, the, but the, the wait, laws? Let's, let's just address the progress of the Torah, how it went along. So the Bible, this is called progressive revelation. Exactly. You believe in exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. So therefore, we have the writings of the prophets confirming what came before the history because the bible the old testament is not just a book of doctrine do you, the, do you have the, the writings history, of, of abraham it's the history or noah no so these are prophets but who told you not every prophet has to write something abraham so are you saying Abra is abraham is yeah. no, abraham yeah, but not every not every abraham, prophet, abraham not every, in the bible not every prophet has abraham to. abraham didn't receive a book no he didn't receive any new laws no. new, law, new laws no even noah no, Bible. Noah was given instructions to uh, about dividing the animals yeah. up when they went he, into the he, yes. he, he received the relation, a form yeah, of He didn't receive a book. We, we don't know that. For us to say to make this claim, okay. we're going to have but to have exactly. story. To make a claim, you have to substantiate. That's yeah. what you've been said. So yeah, 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 you yeah. made a claim, you can't yeah. substantiate. I'm not making a claim. So until I'm we, not, yeah, I, yeah. I told you the other position, you could say we don't know either he received or he didn't receive, but he received laws. So we can say this may entail that he received. Well, if we have the scripture and we believe it's divinely inspired, and it says he doesn't, this is why we're talking about, about the scripture. Yeah, is exactly. it divinely inspired? Yeah. Or not? So there's, because there's, therefore we're, no, the we're point, getting, the we're point getting stuck on very No, 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 no. Because the point is you were trying to make is that that. Torah had to be preserved because the prophets had to deal with it. Yes. This is why I was telling you it's not the it's not the case, and I gave you two possibilities. For it. So you can't use this kind of argument. But let's say that the let's Torah look at it. Preserved. Let's look at it logically. Now, the, the, I give you the Israelites logical. have the Torah. Yeah. If the book gets corrupted, do you believe God will allow it to stay corrupted that they can't follow the laws for X amount of years? I'll tell you. you I'll you tell think, you what, what I what I believe. Okay. I believe. The prophets come to, to certain people in certain times. Okay. Are we going to have one to one discussion? No, no, no. Or? <laughs> Anyways, so you know, now I forgot what no, I was saying. This is the problem. No, it's okay, it's okay. So, what I was saying is, yeah, I believe that God sends messengers to certain people in certain times. He gives them guidance that is restricted to them. Yeah. Not all the times, but I believe he used to do that. Yeah. So I believe the Torah came for the Jews, restricted okay. to them. Yeah. This is what I believe. So, so I believe yeah, exactly. if they corrupted it after that, no problem. Okay. God is sending so, another prophet to other yeah, people. But, but wait, let's just stick with the Torah. So do you agree then for, with the, for the, the Torah, yeah. that the time the Torah was with the people, therefore it shouldn't have been corrupted? Because they're... No, they, after, the you're talking after them or in their time. In How their can time. it be corrupted if the, if the prophet is there? Yes. No point of corruption anyway. That's my point of preservation of the Torah. No, 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 no. You said because, after after the prophet. Yeah, no, but I'm saying during the time of the prophet because Jesus was a prophet. So let's say up to the time of Jesus. You were going to say Jesus is a prophet. 
Yeah, I shake your hand. Yeah, but I believe he's got. I know, I know you believe he's a prophet. Yeah, but you can just joke. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, don't take it too seriously, you know. Anyways. Yeah, so so in the sense of we can agree that until the time of Jesus, I can agree. Been, I'll tell you what yeah, I can that, agree. I can agree that that's how wrong. Yes. But the time of Moses until he died yes. was preserved. Until the so, until he died. Okay, wait. So now let's look at it. If he if it gets corrupted, because by the time of Moses to Jesus is about fifteen hundred years. So now if the book is corrupted, how are the people going to obey God? And do you think God would be complicit in seeing that? The people have corrupted the book and he will not say anything to correct I'll them. tell you, I'll tell you how people would obey God. This is from my perspective. Okay. If you want the Islamic perspective, I can give you the Islamic perspective. The idea is the people will, will try to follow the word of God. They will use the intellect that, that God gave them. Okay. And they will come to the conclusion, is this actually the word of God? Is it corrupted? They will look at the possibilities like we're looking right now. Okay. Is it the word of God? They would try to worship God the way he wants to. Okay. If they couldn't yeah. uh, find basically a word of God, yeah. basically, if they couldn't find the revelation, 100% they sure that this is a revelation, okay. I believe that God will take them on the, on the day of judgment. So let, now let's use the, go with that. So you're saying God will keep it a secret, but yet no, no, he no, would no, say... I'm not saying he's, he's going to keep it a secret. I'm going to say yeah, people, but, people will but, corrupt it. But let's, let's, yeah, if, 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 if they didn't know it was corrupted, so what you're saying is Who? that, let's just say yeah. the first, let's say after Let's say one year after uh, Moses, the book gets corrupted. I don't think so, but yeah. <laughs> no, but let's just look yeah. at it logically. So you, you know, would but, you, but you would know, you, you know, you think it's logical that yeah. for the next one thousand years, even though we have continuous chains of prophets that God given them a revelation, He wouldn't say to one of the prophets, actually, tell the people your book has been corrupted, and then we can. I'll tell you what, what I, I believe. I believe. I believe. I personally believe every every prophet has a book. According okay. to my belief, I, I believe okay. every prophet received the book. But then. We so, have, okay. So that, the idea is, okay, go on. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe every prophet received the book. That's why I believe okay. that you don't have to preserve because look, if God sent people for the uh, a prophet for the children of Israel, okay, if they corrupted the book, okay, that's why God sends another prophet to these people to okay. correct them. But this is this is his process. So what, I believe. So would they send another Torah or say forget the Torah because someone's corrupted it? Who? So if, if the, the prophet if comes, the next, the next, I'll tell you, I'll tell if you, the if the prophet, prophet, if the prophet yes. comes, I have the corrupted Torah, yes. I receive revelation from that, I can tell you this is wrong okay. and this is right. Yes, this this part is wrong, this part is added, yes. they added this, they corrupted this part. So would they rewrite the book so they have the, what was originally you there? You don't have to because I told you every prophet has his own book. He doesn't have to, he will just tell them this part Wait. of the Torah okay. is true, okay. but this is the book you're okay. going to follow right now. The, the Jews were asked to follow 613 laws, yes? Okay. So yeah. if, let's say they corrupt 60 of them, the next prophet comes. I'm, we're not talking about the laws, we're talking about the... Yeah, but... Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I'll tell you what, yes. what's going to happen. The, the prophet is going to come, because he's going to uphold the true laws. Okay. And wait, the false laws, he's yeah. going to say this is not true. Okay, so then let's say 60 of those laws are corrupted. Is the prophet going to tell the people, these 60 are corrupted, let's rewrite the 60 that were corrupted? Why, would he, he gonna, what, why would he write, rewrite them? He doesn't have to. So therefore they would be given back to the right path. So therefore, if they made a, a fabricated story, I'll they would you, replicate I don't just think you the understand. I don't think you understand yes. my, my premise. Okay. Look. Okay. Let's assume you live in Ghana. But, okay. No, okay. no, let, let, because right. for you to understand, let's assume you live in Ghana. All right. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a prophet. Okay. I came to you. Okay. I gave you revelation restricted to your area and your time okay. and your people. Yes. Okay. Then a new, then you guys distort and change the, the, the laws I gave you. Okay. Then a new prophet comes. So what the, what the new prophet is going to have? He's going to have a new book, a new new laws. If he's going to uphold, if God wants him to uphold some laws of this that was given to your people. Yes. He's gonna uphold them. Okay. If he wanna change them, he's gonna change them. Why? Because God is all wise. Okay. He knows what is befitting for the people. Okay. For example, some laws, this is progressive revelation. Okay. Some laws are given to people, then God gives new laws because they are different people. It's different times. You understand but, my point of view? But, that's, but again, now you've just given me a, a narrative that has no sort of backing. So therefore... We no, no, I'm not, I'm not giving you a narrative. I'm giving yes. you another because, another possibility. Yeah. Because you're giving me a possibility. I'll tell you what you're doing. You're saying the Torah had to be preserved because one, two, three. 
So I'm giving you no. There is a possibility of one, but, and two. But I'm giving you evidence. You're just telling me it could have been. Okay, where is your evidence here? Okay. Go ahead, no problem. So, for example, if we go to the Quran, it says when Jesus oh, you came. You can't use the Quran. We're no, no. talking about the, the, the yeah, preservation because, of the Bible. Yes, right because now. I'm telling you, we had the prophets, and according to the scripture that they gave, we have the books. Obviously, we have the Psalms. So we have the. No, no, no. The idea the is why you're using the Quran. Because if because <laughs> if, I'm you, if you want to substantiate okay. evidence, you can't use All the Quran. Right. So therefore, if I'm using the, the, the Bible, the Old Testament, the you can't Bible use the Old Testament. This is this would be a circular argument. Okay. If I want to use the Old Testament to prove that the Old Testament is preserved, okay. it's a circular reasoning, so, isn't it? So then, what we're saying is this: yeah. you have a book given to a nation. Okay. The nation was given the preservation of that book. A Therefore, book. if we believe prophets come, it goes with the intellect what to understand. You, what do you mean by the preservation of the book? As in to, to follow the laws, yeah. as in the, the, no the preservation, because no therefore... They're going to follow the laws, yeah? Exactly. Okay. So my thing is this, if we logically think about it, that like if you have another prophet that comes, if there's any, like, because God's already made an original covenant, the, the prophet is not going to come with new laws because therefore it will go contradict the original covenant because God says I'm going to make a covenant this is the rules of so my covenant. So you don't believe in progressive progressive revelation? Progressive revelation. Do you believe that the, the laws yes. that God makes it doesn't change? Yes. To so any, any, any nation or any human beings? I believe only one prophet to one nation was the Israelite issue. So you don't believe in Noah, you don't believe in Abraham, you don't... Repeat, repeat, yeah. repeat. So, but of, of course, they, they were the patriots, but I'm saying they were they were prophets. They as well. were patriots. They weren't really prophets. Really, not in that sense. It says can, in the Bible that you, you can call them black people of God, but we're yeah, talking but about are they called prophets yeah, in the Bible? Yeah, but we're talking about the Israel. No, no, no. Are they called prophets in the Bible? Well, some some are called that. Like, Abraham's called a prophet. A friend uh, of this God. is what we're talking about. Yes, but what's he's your point? called the prophet. Yes. Then he probably had revelation. No, unless you. Yes, a revelation in terms that a prophet yes. can be someone that he gave laws. He gave laws to no, his people. No, 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 no. A prophet is can be defined as someone who speaks to God, right? They receive it receive it doesn't, revelation. Receive yes, revelation. it doesn't mean that they have to give revelation or tell people to follow God. No, that's not doesn't happen. Really? So yes. why why are they sent? If they receive revelation, Abraham the wasn't sent to anyone. No, no. Why is or he a Noah prophet then? Why is he a anyone? prophet? Because they could, had a communion with God, they had a relationship, a fellowship with God. So you're saying anyone can be a prophet, even at our, our time? Well, I guess. God, God, if God reveals to Where is your now, evidence for that? Well, it's in the scripture, because yeah, yeah, the Bible we, says... We, we're going to have to look at that, yeah, but, but let's but talk let me, about these. Yeah, because we're going to off a bit. What I'm trying to say is this. Yeah, so I'm if telling we, you... If we have... We, it logically follows, for example, if God makes a covenant with Abraham, according to the Bible, we have prophets like David... Covenant for Abraham, you said? For Moses. Yeah. So, so we have... From Moses to Jesus, we have maybe about 30 prophets. There are probably more, but we have the scripture. The, the books from the prophets was about 30 or however. So therefore, we have to understand that if God is continually to send these prophets, and we read, so, we read the writing. I'll tell you. I'll wait, tell you. I'll tell yeah, you. let me finish my point. Then okay. you can engage because it means it's like I make a point yeah. and you're cutting it. So we have a book given to Moses, and and um, and God's given them. A, it's a called a covenant, but so it's like a, a contract. If you do this, I, I do that. I so therefore, the so next prophet cannot come with, new, shredder, come, yeah? come, come, come with new laws. I'm yeah? I'm yeah? So that it shredder, logically boy. follows that yeah, even yeah, if, yeah, just for argument's yeah, sake, yeah, yeah, let's say it gets corrupted at some point, when God sends them a prophet to say you're not following the laws of God, it logically follows that the prophet would also say the book has been corrupted, therefore let's rewrite it so you can follow what God originally wanted you to follow. But you don't understand in my point of view. You said these prophets, they came with 30 books, isn't it? No, I'm saying each prophet had like their own writing. Yeah. So, they, they, so in the Bible, was their own writing written before? Was there what? Their own writing, they, what they wrote, yes. did they come with any any, any dietary laws, any laws, any, no, anything about no, that? No. So no. What, what what's in these books? Then? So basically, that's what I was saying. So because we've got one in book 10. So in no, their, no, no, in their, is, yeah. so basically the Old Testament yeah. is the development of the nation of Israel. So when the other prophets came, they, it, we, we, we read it and we see that the Israelites had transgressed. Maybe they weren't following God. This so is my gives, point. Yes. So therefore, it, was, it wasn't to change the uh, mosaic. But law. they came with new things. No. Are you telling me none of the, of the 30 th prophets 
came with anything not, new not, to, the, not, to the Israelites. Not, not new laws, no. Then you don't believe in progressive revelation. Then what, I, what do you define as progressive revelation? Progressive revelation is, depending on the state of the people, God may give new laws. Okay. He might, uh, uh, what do you call it? Okay. Stop, the, but, but, stop all but, laws. But, but, but not going into prediction, because you are Muslim, can you give me any evidence from the Quran to back your claim? Otherwise, are we just talking from conjecture? That a pro of evidence of progressive revelation. Because according to the Quran, it was they came with the same message. Worship the one same message, God. Yeah. Exactly. But the idea is the message is different than the law. The message is worship from God. But, but then I'm telling the yes. people do this. this but according this. to the Quran, the, 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 Jesus was the only one who came with progressive revelation. Because then no. he gave even he, he, Yeah, exactly. So Jesus yeah, yeah, Jesus came and lied let, let, let me give you the example yeah. he talked about. So this this example I think you can find in the first chapter of the Quran. Okay. Al-Baqarah, chapter Al-Baqarah. Okay. Uh, so the people at the time, they, they were drinking alcohol. You know what? Yeah, the people, but that, in the, in the perfect, yeah, but you know this example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This but, is progressive but, revelation. Exactly, but that's my point. Between the time of Moses and Jesus, give me an example of someone that came with progressive revelation. Yeah, Otherwise, we're on. Brother, I just, yeah, yeah, I understand. No, 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 it's okay. Right. You like said a later. Prophet, no, no, no. I'll tell you the problem. We'll I'll tell you the that, problem. My point is, you just said, time. You just said, yes. give me an evidence from the Quran. I give you an evidence from the Quran. Then no, you, you said, but that's, that's to do with. I'll tell you. I'll tell you how. I'll tell you how it's talking about the Israel. The Quran says. That would they, he received the book. he had a book yes. Abraham he had a book and Moses he had a book Jesus he had a book so this is progressive revelation everyone had a book okay everyone had his own book everyone had his own so what book did Abraham have Zabur no no no, no I think so so it's it's called it's basically the, called Suhu. Suhu okay. is basically uh, Zabur was given to Dawood David he was given the Zabur no uh, uh, no, I don't know what kind of book, but he's, okay. he was given a book. We're not told what the name. Solomon of, given? We're not told the name of the of the books. Okay. These these are the names that we're told. You asked me, for example, for yeah, progressive yeah. revelation. Yeah. I'm giving you. So okay. Abraham had Sahab Ibrahim. David had the, uh, the, Zabur. the Zabur, yeah. Moses had the Torah, okay. Jesus had the, uh, Injil. the Injil, okay. Prophet Muhammad had the Quran. Okay. This is progressive revelation. So, okay. I give you two examples. One okay. example is about the, the, the laws okay. for the alcohol and the other one so, about the books. So what was in the uh, Zabur? We, we don't know. So therefore, again, you... Is it? So, this is... So, I'll tell so, you why not. So, I'll tell you why so we don't know. Or, yeah, but you've fallen into a trap where no, 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 you're I'll saying tell you why we progressive don't know. revelation. But then you can't claim progressive revelation if you don't know what's in the book. You can say he had the Zabur, but give me evidence it was a progressive revelation from the laws of Moses. If you can't, then it's conjecture. Because, and therefore because your, what does your the, argumentation what? falls down. Because oh, I'm no, saying no. to you, the laws of Moses were yeah. carried on until the time of Jesus. If the laws of Moses, the laws of Moses that they were giving, are the Muslims following it? Let, let's, let's, we're, talking about the Israelites. we're talking about the Israelites right yeah. at the moment. Yeah. So the, we, we, we can get onto the, the Muslims, but we're talking about the Torah was given yeah. for the Because you, you brought up the Quran, yeah, and then yeah. you say no, we're talking about the Israelites. What, <laughs> I'm, what, what I'm telling you so is... So we're going to have to stick... Yeah, but listen because to what what we, dig yeah, we, but dig we digress. You're not, you're not engaging with my point. Because I, I agree. The, the I law agree. for the Israelites... Uh, you can make a claim for the laws for Arabs and onwards, but we're saying the Israelites, what laws were they given to follow? You asked me a question. Yes. Do we have progressive revelation? i give you an example of progressive revelation. Yes. I don't have to prove all the... The previous progressive yeah, but revelation. Within the, within the Israelites, there was no progressive um, revelation. That's what I'm saying. To you. So uh, within if, the, if, if within, you within the Israelites, I, yes. don't, I don't. I'm not saying. I yeah, disagree. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't, yeah, I'm not saying. Yeah, they use so many prophets then. Because what happened is when we look at this no, story of the nation of Israel, because is if that you, the Israelites, you could say they, they, stopped, they stopped maybe worshiping God properly, or they weren't doing things that pleased God. So God would send a prophet to say, uh, follow the, you know, fo go so back what, to follow. So how are you certain they didn't change the book as well? Because they're we have that. the writings. How do you know that this is this is the true writings? This is our point. The idea is our discussion over here is okay. about the authenticity, yes. isn't it? Because I think we digress everywhere. Because so the thing is, why do we believe that the Israelites have not corrupted their book? Is because they no, no, no. Oh, yeah, you're talking about that. No, the Israelites. Go ahead. No because they were the ones chosen by God to to have this book and as a guidance throughout the nation. Okay. Then we have Christ. Let's, let's, let's look at this point to confirm. Let's look what at was in it. Let's look at yes. this point. Let's let's take but, your reasoning for the sake of the army, even okay. though I gave you because other, other, other options. This is, this let's, is why, listen, listen, this is why you, I went you. into the story of the burden of yeah, proof. Yeah, because if you. you make a claim, no, no, you have to prove it. The standard of truth. Yeah. If I say this is but uh, you, could, from you can God. prove to me as well that, again, they, that they preserve the books. But again, this, the is, same, the this same is why we fall into a fallacy. This is why we have something called the burden of proof. That's why I told because you let's continue for the sake of argument because, because you're not going to finish. Yeah, but if we're going to have a sincere and logical um, discussion, yeah. we then have to go by logical argumentation. So therefore, we can go by the, start, the study of, um, sorry, the burden of proof because it's a 
it's a neutral um, principle that tell says me, the Tell me what the principle says. Okay, let me get you the let's let's yeah. Because otherwise but you let go me tell around you something. In yeah, but let me tell me something. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we we already, about, already gave no, that. No, 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 no. But the idea is from the biblical yeah. um, standpoint. Yeah. Is uh, when they talk about animal sacrifice in the Old Testament and then that the it New was Testament. Uh, yeah, okay. And then in the New Testament, it's now abrogated because yes. you believe that Jesus is the ultimate sacrifice. Yes. So that means animal sacrifice is no longer. That means the, the mosaic, mosaic yes. uh, revelation of uh, has, has basically has been cancelled. So that in I don't think he disagrees with that. So no, he doesn't disagree with that. But yeah. That's an so so he so so his point is basically that would you your belief. would yeah would you are you claim, making it a claim that it's been changed or just that it's a progressive revelation? Oh, like well, how would you define? Well, how would you define a progressive revelation? I mean something yeah. that changes over time, whether it's been abrogated or cancelled. Okay. It's still progressive. Well, I wouldn't say it was cancelled or necessarily. I'm saying uh, whichever way uh, you choose. Yes. Whichever word you choose, it's still a change in revelation. You know, whether it's abrogation, cancellation, uh, adaptation, and you, you know, you know nothing. Well, well, in under Christian uh, theology, we will call it a fulfillment of the law. So basically, it's I know, like having, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Like I'm, talking, I'm talking about Matthew, I think, chapter five. Yeah. So basically, because God didn't. We're gonna discuss this one because it's very. Important. Yeah. Because let, let's let's just move on because we're going around in. So, uh, let me no, get no, the because he gave, he gave an yeah, example yeah. for, let me for get progressive the, revelation. But however, yes. what I'm talking about, even if the even if the uh, Jews oh, yes. preserved their their text. Yes. You cannot prove no, 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 no. that after no, no. Jesus, they still preserve the text. Okay, now the thing is this, we have the Dead Sea Scrolls, which predate Jesus by 200 Where years. Where are the Dead Sea Scrolls? You can go and they're, they're in, um, I don't know what museum they are, but you can view them. So therefore, we have the Dead Sea Scrolls, which predate Jesus 200 years. Yeah. So therefore, but, this is what Jesus not, has ever used. It's not all. Well, well, 200 years no, before I'm talking Jesus. About, I'm talking about the revelation of the Jews. You said the revelation of the Jews, yeah. they have to, pre to pre preserve it until the time of Jesus. Okay. No, no, no. So what about after Jesus? They could easily corrupt oh. it. They could, but we have the Dead Sea Scrolls, so we can go back to what Jesus Dead Sea Scrolls are not the, the, the whole books of the, the, yeah, the Jews the, had. The Hebrew Bible. So this is what we're talking about, yes. we're talking about the whole book. It's the Hebrew Bible, yes. No, the Dead Sea Scrolls are not the whole Hebrew Bible. So what is it? I'm asking you. I'm telling you, you say no, so I'm asking you what it is. Are you telling me that this is scrolls? That the, this is the one found uh, a thousand years after, after Moses, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 that this is scrolls yeah. the one found a, a yeah. thousand years after yeah, Moses. Yeah, which is the old one. Yeah, you have no proof that this is not, not changed. Well, again, let me give you the definition of burden of proof. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll keep going around yeah. and around in circles. Anyways, no, 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 I don't want to stick on one point. Yeah, but the let me just time. give anyway, the definition. Yeah. It says, the burden of proof yeah, where is I'll it? Say, let me get, so it says. No, let's then, look at the first definition. Yeah. Why don't you want to? No, use it? it's just a summary. So it says, I'll yeah. read it from the start. It says, The burden of proof, shortened from onus probandi incumbent el key, this is Latin, is an obligation on the party in a dispute to provide sufficient warrant for their position. So it says, Holder of the burden. When two parties are so, in. So, so this, this basically definition is what we said. Let me give the. I'm reading it out. So it says, When two parties are in a discussion and one makes the claim that the other disputes, the one who makes the claim typically has the burden of proof to justify or substantiate that claim, especially when it challenges a perceived status quo. So therefore, if the status quo was the understanding that the Torah is preserved, because that's my evidence, I then don't have to go and pr prove that it's but, been... But when you say that, yes. you already made a claim. Exactly. And then I, I disproved yes. your, pla your claim. So I'm, then the burden so of I'm saying, is on you, exactly. not on me. So I'm saying to you, so you're saying it's been corrupted. So I'm saying to you, my evidence is that this book was given to the Israelites and it's been I with them. Yeah, I, I, well, agree. I understand what you, you said, say but what you said, yes. I told you I don't accept. Why? Yes. Because there are different possibilities. Okay. But then you and, you, to, and you say, if, again, and you say, and you again, say you, to make a, a claim, you have to substantiate your claim. If you, no, no, you no, no, I'm just to, refuting your, your evidence. But this is the burden of proof. You have to refute it with evidence to say the book has been corrupted. No. Otherwise, you fall then, into a then I will, Because if I say this is the only possibility, you're gonna, you have to give me a chance to say another possibility. But you have to substantiate. You could say to me, aliens, okay, okay. aliens came down and corrupted it. The Therefore, is, I could logically, no, no, according no, no, to your no. argument, go with that. But you have to give me some no, evidence. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you logical uh, options. For example, is options, but it's you, not, you, not have, you have, you have, you have the understanding that they preserved the, the Torah yes. because, what? because you see that in the Bible. 
Okay. So you're using the Bible as well, we, and we're discussing the, the authenticity of the Bible. Yes. So we go back to circular, circular reasoning. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? You cannot use but, the Bible and yeah, tell me because the, the Bible the, the says. Is, can I finish my point? Yes. You cannot use the Bible and say because the Bible says oh, okay. that the, the prophets are had to preserve it. Therefore, yeah, it was preserved. Okay. You have to give me evidence from outside the Bible that actually the prophets. For, not, for, for it not to become circular reasoning, you have to give me from outside the Bible. No, because this is the, the, the mistake you make. So, Wait, I'll tell right. you why it's a mistake. Because the Bible is a collection of books. So the Bible was never written at once. It's a collection of different people who are validating different people. That's why, therefore, that is a sub substantial amount of evidence because it's from we're different witnesses. We're it's not talking, because we're people talking about think. The Bible. If, we mean the whole claim, book, is yeah, it? but if your claim was one person wrote the whole Bible, I could understand I your never, point. No, I'm saying, that. therefore, because the Bible is written by different people, the Old Testament. The, people. I'm saying the Old Testament was written by different prophets. Yeah, right. They're validating the people that came before. Therefore, that is sufficient witness evidence that this story this is the is, has not how been do you know? How do you know that the prophets are the one who wrote what's in the Bible? This is circular reasoning. For me to say, they okay. wrote... It's who, like, who it's wrote like, the I'll tell Quran? You, I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah. Who uh, wrote the Quran? Because the, we're going, the, we're going the, into circular, circular now, now argument. Now we're going to another yeah, argument. Because I'm showing you that your point and your argumentation will be inconsistent. Yep. It will not hold up to the same standard okay. that you've given me. So okay. let's go to the Quran. Okay. Who so wrote the Quran? For me to, to prove that the Quran is authentic, yes. I'm not going to use the Quran. I'm going to tell you, okay. the disciples of, of, of the companions of the Prophet Muhammad, they are the one who wrote it. And we have chains of narration for it. We have the manuscripts. Uh, carbon dated to the time. These kind of things is outside of the. Do of the you book have itself. the original copy of the Quran? We yeah. have in the so Sana manuscript in Turkey. We have in here the, the Birmingham century. manuscript, and we have. I'll tell you, we have also two other ways. One of them is the uh, do you, prophetic do you, do you tradition. Ha, do you we have, have the chains of do, creation. Do you have the original uh, Quran? The original Quran. Yeah, yeah. Came down from there. So yeah, the, 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 the Birmingham manuscripts that you find over here, yeah. it's dating of, to the time of the Prophet. In the hearts of millions of people. No, because, that, because you had... Um, it's dating to the time of the Prophet. It, no, it dates to, the, I think, uh, no, 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 and no, no, like no, no. 50, 50, 60 years. It dates to, no, to the time of the Prophet. You can the, go the, check it yeah, out. Yeah, the time span is go, about... You can uh, go check it out. Is about it's 600 AD. Yeah, exactly, plus or minus. Yeah, if you can find the evidence. Because it's not, yeah. it's not. Anyways, the anyways, the you see what I'm doing? They're, they're, no, 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 no. What the material? It's anyways, written, anyways, wait, wait, let me let me address that point. Okay. The material it is written on, I think, is leather or something like that. Can, exactly. The writing, it's the script itself, does not date to the prophet. There's a difference because, because it's like me, a, a parchment can go back to the time. The writing, they say, is not consistent with the earlier time of the prophet. That's because it was washed. So, so therefore, you, the you don't have. Look, no, no. The so therefore, no, you, no, yes, the you made an error in your problem argument. Problem is, now we're discussing the, 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 the Yeah, the no, leather. No, no, no. That's not yeah, true. But the leather does. I'll tell you what. what listen, listen. The subject, the subject is, yes. is the authenticity of the Bible. Right. And so, 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 I was just giving you evidence. Yes. We have evidence from outside the Quran. So you which gonna is have, the, Which is the evidence outside? That the one we talked about. This is example for you. You have to bring such evidence. Carbon dated to the time of Jesus. The Sahaba. No, no, no. I'm talking about the. The manuscript carbon dated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this, and this, this is number one. Yeah, number two, what I said. The, the paper or the leather it's written on. Okay, okay. Make it, but the writing. Are you the, telling me? Are you telling me? Are you what telling I'm saying. Me? The, the writing has been said by um, academics that it, it dates afterwards. Uh, I, don't, I don't know names, but he, he that's why he understands. The, the, the leather itself dates quite close, but the writing itself, because they can, because it's in the, um, is it Kufi script or something like that, which is um, Iraqi or something like that. So it comes from a later time. No, 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 no. You know the Hijazi, it's not original. Hijazi, it's not original Hijazi in a place. Arabia. Hijazi no. in a place. You know what Hijazi yeah, but, is? But, uh, yeah, but I'm saying this okay, is what this I'm is saying. the problem. They this say the problem. script it's written no, no, no. in comes before, from Iraq. Before we, we, but, um, before, hey, we can come but, to that. We can come Quran to that. No problem. We did not go to Iraq until we can, later. We can come to that. Make sense we can that come to that. The script is written in Iraq. We can Iraqi come to that. Script. We can come to that. Yes. But the idea is, I'm giving you but examples I'm, yes. for what you have to substantiate as well. Yes. But we're not debating the Quran right now. When we come to it, I'll talk about it. Your evidence will not hold up to the same standard. So that's why when you're telling me, no, okay, we can, we can, we can look at this. But this is, this is. Shifting the argument because you don't have enough evidence for your no, own claim. Because I'm the argument. You, this the argumentation let's, you let's say, use let's will say, not hold let's up to the same say, level of scrutiny. Let's per se, they don't hold. Yes. That would not prove that yours hold the, the Okay. This is what we're talking about. Now we're talking about this. When we finish this, we can come to the Quran, no problem. But the idea is you have to substantiate from outside the Bible, okay. not from the Bible. 
And even the, the companions the, the, that you no, talk about. You're making a m mistake. That's why I said to you, the Bible is written by different people who are substantiating what's come before. You're thinking because it's collected together, therefore it's substantiating itself. One author substantiated himself. No, you have different authors substantiating what came before. So therefore I don't need to go outside because before it was collected into one. Are you, I'm going to ask you a simple books. question. Are you using the Bible? I'm using the books of each author. When, when we say the Bible, do we, are we talking about the whole book? What does the Bible mean? The, 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 the 66 books or but what does, what does Bible mean? A book means book. means book. It means, means book. collection. No, Bible means book. The word itself, Biblios. it means book. Yeah. Anyways, it's 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 anyways, are we talking it means about books? Okay, are we talking? It means books in the plural. We, we, when we say the Bible, this is all semantics. Yeah, yeah, when we, exactly. We, books that's why I'm telling you. In the plural, because no, no, it's not listen, written by. Listen, it's not written listen, by the listen, same listen person. To me, listen to me. When yes. we say the Bible, are we talking about everything or not? Okay. Do you want, no, no. I just let, asked. That's a simple yeah, question. Go, go, if go. we're talking about the whole Bible, we cannot use any part of the Bible to substantiate it. As if no, I disagree. Because it was crazy. No. Then, then I'll come to you. I'll tell you. Because if they have different authors writing something and then they put it together, you cannot say that it's it's circular because it was independent writing collected together. Therefore, it wasn't together, and it was independent. So, we, so if we say, together. if we say, yeah. if we say different companions of the Prophet, they wrote, they wrote the, the, the Quran, then it was compiled together. Therefore, it's true. This is your reasoning. So Therefore, can... different companions of the Prophet, okay. they wrote the Quran, then okay. it was compiled together. The same reasoning. No, Therefore, it's true. I, I disagree with that, and I'll tell you why. Because the, the the Quran was narrated by one person. I can agree with you. Seriously. I can agree. Listen, but let me okay, explain my no point. Problem. The narrator point. of the Quran was Muhammad. That the one who yeah, recited it. Exactly. Okay. So therefore, people, I can you can say. But who are there other people? Listen to what I'm saying. So you can. Your by the way, you're the only one talking for yeah, some reason. You know, we have. Well, listen to what I'm saying. You can make the claim, and I can agree with you that people wrote down what they heard him say. But therefore, you're logic now becomes circular because what Muhammad says is I, true. I have not used what that. I've said I have to not you, used that as no, I'm just you saying, using it. I'm just saying. If I did, it's yes, circular. But you said, therefore, because these people wrote it down, therefore it's true. No, I'm saying I can, I say I can attest I say that, that if they wrote it down. I, say, I said you said that. You said because different people wrote it. Yes. Therefore, it's, it's true. This is what, this well, is the claim you make. But the, when we build up a logical argument, you use no, independent. Let me, let me ask you. Let me yes. ask you a simple question. Do you have evidence from outside the Bible? How many witnesses do you yes. have to have? Yes. I'm having. A, a How many witnesses you have? I'm, to have? A lovely, I'm having a lovely discussion with him over here. You don't have to scream, you know. So, do you agree or you disagree? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, what we're point. saying is, you yes. know, he, he made me forget my point. <laughs> okay. Um, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. My idea is, do you have any evidence from outside the Bible? To substantiate the, that the Torah was preserved. Uh, we have the Talmud as well. You have the Dead Sea Scrolls a thousand years after Moses. After okay. That's not we, we have we have witness. We have eyewitness or we have witness testimony. That's why you have the book. When I say the Torah, I mean the whole book. We have the, the books are eyewitness if testimony. If I substantiate, the, then one chapter an is I, right. An eyewitness testimony is an independent book. The, the book by each prophet. Which, uh, which eyewitness testimony? In terms of when we have the prophets talking about the time, they were written at the time. How do you know that these? Because it's a contradiction of. This is the contradiction. When you say, yeah, the prophets wrote. Listen to what I'm saying. If you want to disprove it, because we're going to get into a certain argument. Anyways, I think. I think. Look, look, look. This is why we have to. Yeah, yeah. I think we've been talking too long, too long about something that doesn't matter anyway. Okay. So let's look at the other criteria. Let's ignore this one. Okay. Let's look at the other criteria. So. So we, we you, you, say, you tell me, okay. you tell me, yeah, yeah, yeah. You tell me what's miraculous, criteria. for example, what's miraculous okay. about the Bible. So now, we've spent like an hour on a very pedantic point. I know, I agree. This is why we have the burden of proof, because it stops oh. arguments like this, but where you, it's circular. Because I'm, I'm ultimately, it. yeah, but the thing is, this is why you, if you make a claim, you have to substantiate it. I can bring you the evidence and say this is from God. At, or, no, you're, oh, sorry, bringing, no, you're bringing the wait, same thing wait, 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 as an evidence wait. for itself. No, no. This is different from, from again, the burden of truth. Again, listen. This is why we listen, were talking about you go to court 
you have to have test uh, witnesses, witnesses. Yes. If so, when these books were written independently, they are a witness of what came before. That's the, all the Listen, evidence. If I, I got, need. If so I that got, is the status okay. quo. Let but then, for you to challenge, let me tell you what you're saying. If I go, if I go to court, yes. okay, That's writing on one paper, I'm innocent. Okay. I'm telling people this is the proof that I'm innocent. Okay. This is circular reasoning. Okay. This let, is what let, we're saying. Okay. You understand let's, my point? Let's, just, let's go to another. Let, point. Let's just jump off it yeah. now. We'll go on to the, the, the inspired part of the book. This will give more what's confirmation. No, 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 I'm asking you what's miraculous. This is, I want to be... A prophecy is miraculous. Okay. Now, I'm, this is a very good point because I'm, I want to talk yes. about it. Because now we will then see that does this book have something miraculous? Okay. So now, I'm going to go to the... But the, you remember what we said, if it, if it has false prophecies, yes. it's not from God. Okay. Yeah. Now, I'm going to go to you from the first book of the Old Testament. And then we'll go to the last book because I want to show you something. So in Genesis, Genesis, yeah. in Genesis 10, it talks about a prophecy of the Messiah to come. So it says, it says the scepter. Can I bring it over here? Yeah, if you've got a Bible. You know, you know, I'm a good Christian, you know. <laughs> I do have the Bible as well. Genesis, isn't it? Yes. Genesis chapter uh, 49. 49. Yeah. It's 10. Okay, let's read. Should we look at the... And because this is in the Dead Sea Scrolls, it validates it if it's a prophecy. It doesn't. Yes, it does. But we, we, we'll continue going back to what we said because the Dead Sea Scrolls are a thousand years after Moses. Exactly. So if it happens afterwards, then we can say this has divine... Yeah, but you said because the prophets preserved and where we did, we did we get that okay, information from, from the Bible? Let's, let's, let's continue. That's why I'm telling you, leave this let, point. No, no. But and let's read because you, you, let, you brought it up read again. It. I'm going to repeat that point, but okay. I want you to read it first. Okay. Read, yeah. You read. So, it says, The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet, until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Now, do you know what a scepter is? No clue, no. A scepter is something a king has. It's a sign of rulership. I think the scepter is the, the is the thing it has. Like a, yeah, it has a few parts. I know it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I know it. So now Judah is what was one of the tribes of Israel. That's where you get us. Judah, who, who he he was a prophet. He was one of the sons of Israel. Was he a prophet or not? Uh, I wouldn't say he was a prophet. No. Yeah. So this Judah, it says here, he's a lawgiver. So. It, what now, do you understand by that? So now I'm going to... Okay, yeah. let's continue. So I'm, got, I, I'm not so going to... Let, let, let me I'm start gonna, with... Because okay. you understood what the, sort, look, um, the sector is. Now, the lawgiver part, yeah. it means the authority to impart laws. A lawgiver. Yeah, yeah basically. So, so this is a prophecy because what it's saying is the scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh. Now, Shiloh is the Messiah. It was a name, and I can if I, if you okay, want to show, continue. No, no, no. So I'm, you know that's yeah, why I'm so, thinking we don't have to stop at every yeah, point. Okay. So yeah. what this is basically saying is that the Messiah will come, um, uh, well before the the kingship or the rulership of Israel has gone. So we see it, Jerusalem was taken over by the Roman Empire, and after the destruction of the Empire. But wait, 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 listen to what I'm saying. I'll explain it to you. Let me explain the prophecy. Then if you have a retort, the problem is, wait, wait, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Ah, tell me afterwards, let me explain yeah. it, okay, then you come with go ahead, your no problem. Go ahead. Go ahead. So this patience, verse patience. is talking about, uh, the scepter chapter, so it's talking about, because um, David was a king, the king of Israel, and this is, the kingship came from the line of Judah. So what it's saying is, the, the rulership and the kingship shall not depart from Jerusalem, the line of Judah, until the Messiah comes. So this is a timeline, because even when we see the destruction of the temple, we see that's when the, there was a raid, the erosion or the kicking out or finishing of the Israelite kings. So this is the first timeline of the prophecy of the Messiah. And even if we go to, let me just show you something on... No, I have something on this point. Okay, first. make your point. So, first you said he's a lawgiver. Yes. And you said there is no progressive revelation and no one gives laws. You made this point before. So if he's a lawgiver, he's allowed to make it permissible and yes. not permissible for the people. That's that's by definition a lawgiver. Okay. He gives laws to people. Okay. So if he's a lawgiver, okay. he can give different laws. Therefore, he can do pro progressive revelation that we were talking about. But this point is very good as well. Why? Because I want to talk about something re relating to a prophecy in the Bible as well. About these kind of things about Okay. As but well. can we, let's just address this one first before we jump. Okay, so, no problem. So because you said that Someone Jesus was a lawgiver. 
first yeah. of all, this is not saying that Jesus will be the I'm Lord not saying, I'm not saying Jesus I know, I'm is just going to do that. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, no, no. But what is... It says the, yeah. the lawgiver will yeah. be passed away, yes. passed okay. from him. Yeah. So he but was a lawgiver. Yes. Because obviously, yes, you can impl implement you laws. So, let's, so what yeah. it's saying is that the scepter. So do you, do you, do you see this as a prophecy? Like no. you have personally, any... I'll tell you why not. Okay. Because it's very vague. Number one, okay. this is interpretation for you okay. to tell me if you want to bring me a prophecy, bring okay. me something. Shall which I is give clear. you the something Jewish clear. interpretation of this? Something clear. Shall I give you the Jewish interpretation? According to who? The Jews. No, no. Which which Jew? <laughs> <Rabbis>. <laughs> because, <laughs> rabbis. Yeah, which rabbis? You be in rabbis because I can go into the town. So if you want to go to 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 so this this is um because this is a Jewish website so you can I we can we can I think you would find different interpretations for with the other Jews this is the problem who has the right to oh, okay this book was we had the Dead Sea Scrolls two, you, wait, wait 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 let me explain point we have this book two hundred years before Jesus right yeah, yeah. so now if this comes to fulfillment afterwards. We would then say this is a sign of something of divine inspiration. I'll yes, I'll tell you what's what's do, my do you, I'll tell you what's my criteria wait, for a prophecy. Okay, well let's deal with this fact because you because, have because it, you're wait, gonna say because this I is will a show I'll show you why the Shiloh is relating to Jesus. Because but, but it doesn't matter. I told you because I wouldn't accept that this is a prophecy. It only says the scepter will be passed to him. No, no, no. It's not saying that. It's saying the rulership will not be taken away from Jerusalem. Yeah. Until the Messiah has come. Yeah. Yes. You just giving me Jewish interpretation. Do do the Jews accept Jesus as the Messiah? They don't. That's, that's nothing to do with it. Yeah. This talks about the Messiah. Exactly. So as a Jew, you can either re accept the prophecy or re reject the person who claims to be fulfilling that prophecy. Yeah. There's, it's nothing. So to if do you want to use Jews, I can yeah. use Jews in the because same sense. I, if that's I can why say I said, they don't believe. I said to you, I can give you the Jewish that's, you know, interpretation. That's why I told point. you. That's why yes. I told you people have different interpretations. Yeah. Show, okay. Show me the interpretation. I'll show you okay, one, but, and you show me a different. Let me research. Okay. Which which verse is it? Forty nine ten. Forty nine ten. Okay. Cool. Because cool. under in the Talmud, the rabbis say Shiloh is the Messiah. Look now, if you disagree, show me some counter evidence because we're no we're no. Going I, on not, I don't want to do that because I, I, I don't have we, a, I don't have even a contention. Work, we either work I'll by you, interpretation. I don't, have, I don't have a contention with that. Okay. So therefore, okay. Are we saying this? Is, if you're saying it has it has prophecies, no problem. Yes. But let me bring to you. Some false prophecies, because if it has false prophecies, it's not the, the book of God. Okay. We already agreed on that point at the beginning on camera. Okay. We agree so, you, with that. so you agree that this is a this is. I a don't agree or disagree, but I'm not gonna discuss it. If you wanna say and you continue okay. the argument, no because problem. you wanna bring because, a challenge. No, because yes. it's it's gonna take some time for me okay. to research it. What Jesus says about it. And you because the thing is, well, you're not. You're, we're, no, we're I mean, I'm not disproving yeah, it. I'm not disproving it. Because you said being intellectual and intellectually honest. Yeah. I'm bringing you stuff. That's why I told you. But you're trying to dismiss it and then go on. Do you want me to accept it? No problem because, because I'll tell you why why I can accept it easily. Okay. Why? Because we say Jesus is the Messiah. Okay. You know that. So why would I reject it anyway? Okay. I have no reason to reject it. Okay. But the idea is I'm telling you we're so, now we're so, now we're, ha we're so, now handling we're okay. now handling the criteria so, of the book. Because you asked that's fine. We can yeah. go into what you bring. Okay. But we as first establish how do we establish it's from God? How do we establish it's not been corrupted? So okay. I'm giving you a prophecy from the first book. I'll tell you that. I'll tell, you, I'll, tell you the, I'll tell you the so Therefore, we can understand you that the, the, the first a prophecy, book of Genesis a prophecy, a prophecy, inspired. A prophecy, yes. a vague prophecy yeah. being fulfilled. It's not vague. I, okay. That's why I'm saying, yes. Not we would differ on that. Because you, I, have, because you do not understand Jewish you, text. Let me finish. Yes. A prophecy being fulfilled does not mean it's from God. Many people make prophecies. What determines is it actually from God or not? All the prophecies has to come to pass. This is how you know 100% this prophecy. is from God. This is why I'm, 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 okay. I'm trying to give you another prophecy, okay. which is not fulfilled. Okay. So you understand my point of view? Show me your evidence. No, 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 no. <laughs> Can God make false prophecies? We already agreed no, on God that. God make false prophecies. Okay, let's look at that. Alright, let's go. Check out the evidence. Fact check. Let me show you an unfulfilled prophecy that means it's not from God. Okay? Oh, we'll see what he brings and the interpretation. Uh, I have to. Let me, let me, let, let's look first at Well, we'll go to one because I gave you one. You give me one. I'll give you one. Okay. So, do you want the one relating to, to kind of rulership to be like this one from a sense, isn't it? <laughs> no, no. Let's, let's try this one. No problem. Let's go to Mark. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, 27. Mark 13, 27. So this prophecy is talking about things that is going to happen. So let's read it. I'll let you read it. of the temple. I'll let Matthew you read 24. it. Matthew 24. No, 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 no. Matthew 13. It's the same as repeat in Matthew yeah. 24. Mark 13. Mark 13. 
Mark 13. 26. Let's start from 26 to 25. Whatever you 26. Yeah. Yeah. Let's read it. Okay. Go ahead. And because they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. Okay, let's and, continue. And he shall send his angels yeah. and shall gather together his elect from the four winds yeah. from the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven. Okay. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. Yeah. When her branch is yet tender and put forth leaves, ye shall know that summer is near. Yeah. So ye in like manner, when ye, ye shall see these things come to pass, know that it is nigh even okay. at the doors. Let's, let's did, did, did this things happen? Yeah. But it's, com it's coming to pass. It didn't happen yet? No. Okay. Let's read verse 30. Verily I say unto you that this generation shall not pass till all these things be done. Okay. Yes. So it says after this generation, before this generation passes, okay. these things is going to come to pass. Okay. Did it come to pass? So what is the, what is the Greek word for generation? Now you're gonna go into parables okay. and things. Let's no, look I'm for not, it. Let's, let's research it. I don't know. Okay. The, the Greek it. word is Geneo. Geneo. Uh, let's look for it. No problem. I, okay, I'll get out for you. Let, I'll look for it as well. No problem. Because there are words in Greek, it could mean many different meanings. Exactly. So when he says this generation, we then have to decide what does he mean by this generation? Who is this generation? Because this is repeated in Matthew 24. This generation is clear. No, it's this generation. Clear. No. Who is he talking to? Clear. He's talking to the Jews. This is very clear. He okay. only came and talked to the Jews. Let, okay, now, let, let, before we go to the Greek, let me give you... Why, we, why don't you want to go to the Greek? Because I'm going to give you uh, the same parable passage in Matthew 24. I don't need it. We're talking about because this. Now you're going to another place. It's the same story. No, 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 it's no. The no. Same I, story. I don't accept if, that. If you're, I, I don't you see, accept that. You, you said about being... You said... You said I know, I said... About a sincere conversation. Yeah, I did. So now let me I show did. you I did. the other but, verse. But would you accept? Would you accept if you bring to me a verse in, in the Quran? Then I tell you, okay, let's go to this verse. This verse Again, is going to explain to you. Remember, the Bible sense. is written in the literary style. Is that this is written from the witnesses. So remember I said to you... That's why I told you, let's go to the Greek. Let's analyze the verse. That's fine. Remember when I said... And I give you context. Remember when I said to you, the beginning if you have one writer talking about the, the, the resurrection of what did Christ, you see wait, what did you see that, what i'm saying what did you now, see the generation you, because you said a different word i said word. to you i said, to you, I said Hinea. so genea uh, yeah. -E exactly yeah. Right, yeah. so i said to you if we have the story for example of the burial and someone says they saw roman soldiers and someone says they saw three women or two women or whatever it may appear as a contradiction but we take it together this is not a contradiction this exactly. is a prophecy this that's is what, what i was not talking about contradiction. we go to matthew as well the because idea it expands on the story listen. because what jesus said otherwise you're going to look listen, at this listen to me we're not talking about we're not talking about contradictions i'm not saying yes. it's a contradiction i'm saying it's a false pro prophecy okay it's entirely different so now when i say this person is going to walk two steps yes this is my prophecy okay and he doesn't walk two steps okay well, so now we have to identify who is this generation otherwise uh, yeah that's why i told you the word hanea yeah. like this is not a false prophecy. That's what people will try and use. Because Genea can be this like a, a race of people or an age. So therefore, because okay. if we go to Matthew, it talks so many because, thousand years the because, generation hasn't passed. Because yet. Jesus talked about the fig tree as we saw. So the fig tree was a sign of the time that things will come to pass. And in the generation that sees that, that is the generation that will see the coming of the Son of Man in the second coming. This is why, for example, as Muslims, yeah. you believe Jesus is going to come again. Because yeah. the Bible confirms believe, the same thing. We believe, but we don't believe this is going to happen. This is a But it doesn't matter. But what this is talking about is the second coming. That's why you believe there's going to be a second coming. This is alluding to the I same can agree. thing. I can so agree. Therefore, it's not I can agree. Prophecy. I can agree. Yes. You, but you cannot use this reasoning. If it said this is going to happen today, okay. in this generation, it has to happen in this generation. Now let's go and look for... This generation doesn't mean that exactly we have years after. it means the people because the, when we look at the book of Matthew, Matthew 24, it talks about the signs of the, the coming of age, the, the coming of the kingdom. So it says, when you see these stuff, things coming, this is the generation. So if the generation that sees these things happening, they will know that the second coming is happening. But because you have to understand the literary styles of the, of the gospel, yeah? yes. So Mark is very uh, gives a very short, like a very brief um let's let's look at the, the definition of, of, second of this Jesus. look bible study tools yes. okay let's read do you accept this one okay. okay let's read what does it say definition this is the word so website. it says a, a group of men very this. like each other in the endowments uh, especially in a bad sense a perverse nation 
a whole multitude of men living at okay. the same time. How do you know? And it says, wait, 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 wait. Now, no. And it says what? An age. An age. Each be successive generations. So therefore, look at the years. Why did you read the years? Space of 30, 30 to 33, 30 to 33 years. Yes, exactly. years. Exactly our point. So therefore, even your own definition goes against you. The problem be is, honest. be yeah. honest. You said so, you will have an intellectual yes. discussion. Yes. This word is very clear. Why? Because okay. he was talking to the Jews. Okay. He told you, you, no. you. This because he wasn't talking to the let, Jews. Let, let's look at the definition. To, to the let's Jews. look at exactly the Jews. So yeah. this is what it's saying. The whole multitude of men living at the same time. If, so therefore it doesn't to have me. to if be I look, If I look at some of my Muslim brothers yeah. and I tell them okay. uh, this will happen in your generation Do I mean the whole of time? Because or again, I mean only the if generation? You want, if you want an honest answer then we go to the book of Matthew where it gives further details of this prophecy this You can't say yeah. you're, you're focusing on one thing because then this is anti-intellectual Because as Christians, I, I, even from the I'm using start, prophecy No, exactly, and I'm giving you the same prophecy that is written in more How detail How do I know that it's the, the same This prophecy. is our criteria because it's the same You would story. say it's the same this prophecy This is the same story It doesn't, it doesn't really Shall mean Shall we have a look at it? If you want no, to look okay. at it, but that's, I personally, I that's you personally. I'm yeah. giving you. A, no, no, no. I'm personally using a fine. verse in the yes. Bible that you couldn't handle. Yes. Therefore, you had to go to another have to verse. Therefore, you had to go to another you, verse. And I no, personally, no, no. if you if you bring me, I tell what you something. I'm to you. If you if you I'm bring, if you, if you bring, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll let you speak. I'm saying this. I'm saying something. I'll let you speak. Let me finish my point. I'm saying to you, generation does not necessarily have to mean specifically that people. So when he says, because when he says no, when he says we already brought the definition. It says a group of. Anyone can actually go and listen. And, and look it says at it. a group of people. It doesn't say it have to be those specific people. Which group? He was talking because to a certain group. Because it can be. A, was exactly. he talking a, to a certain group? He was talking to the Jews. So therefore, no, that a certain group of Jews. No, it can be. It can be a race of people, a type of so people. He was talking to to the world. Listen, if he's talking to the Jews, when a certain type of a certain group. Listen to what I'm Jews. saying. Yeah. If he's talking to Israelites, Jewish people, not in general. Li listen to what I'm saying. If he's speaking to Jewish people. The race of Jewish people can be the same people that witnessed the second coming, not those specific people who were there. It's a lineage. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, you, exactly. I'm, I know what you're so trying to do. Race. You're trying to say yes. it's a race. It doesn't say in the definition because anyway, it's a race. Okay. It says let's a group look of at the people. De let's look at the definition look, again. If you find the race, let's look at the definition because you're getting. And then with this one, we'll do a wrap up. So we'll the problem is, why are you choosing? Yeah, yeah, we need to do a wrap up. You know, let's ignore this one. Let's ignore this one if you want. Or you want to you wanna continue it. We want to wrap up on, yeah. something, on something positive. But what do you think? <laughs> because I'm, I'm oh, trying to have. Yeah, because we haven't even touched on the Quran. Yeah, you, you stuck on the, the Bible because I because, said to you because originally because the, no no the reason no, no, why you're telling you I'm telling you I'm, yeah, telling, you, why, I'm why, telling you why I don't accept the, the Bible. The, that's fine, but the reason why you, I said to you, if I apply these same same standards, the Quran will not stand up to the same standard you're giving me, and I wanted to demonstrate which, that. Which one? So would not stand to. Uh, okay, for example, do you believe? The, the sperm comes from between the, the backbone and the ribs. Yeah, there are there are medical uh, medical reference. Okay. I have read it myself. Okay. Other than that, okay. if you want to use science medical as a criteria, we don't use science as the criteria. Why? But because it's coming. I'll tell from you what. Do you use science? Do you want to use science as a criteria? We know that science. What is science? Science is the study of the patterns of the and regulations of the universe. The understanding changes by time. Did they have the same understanding? Uh, hundred years ago, so you cannot use science to me and say because science says that. Then it's wrong. Did Allah know science? Did Allah know science? Yes. Allah knows the truth. Okay. Allah knows what is so the. So the if we have a, between the, the, if the we have a certain and the ribs, if we have a certain oh, yeah. understanding right now, okay. it might be false. Okay. This is my criteria. Don't bring it to, to me science. Okay. All right. Unless I, you, you want me to bring science against the Bible. You, you think science is going to stand up against the Bible? I tell you what. I tell you why I don't see? use science against the Bible because so, this is wait, not wait, 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 wait. See, we're jumping right because we're saying yeah. if this is from God though, yeah. therefore everything he has to say no, no, is I'm true. I'm telling you why I don't use science, because right. science changes. Okay. This is the nature okay, of Give science. me a prophecy from the, um, the Quran. A prophecy from the Quran? Yeah, okay. but tell me why it's... You, you tell I'll me why tell the you. Quran is inspired. I'll and tell I'm going to ask... Okay, let me give you some. Oh, some but but you say, we said we want to wrap up, so you want me to yeah, give me one or two, one yeah, or two just, prophecies? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just give me a few points, we will we'll wrap up very shortly. All right. Let's look at chapter 30 of the Quran. Okay. The Romans. Okay. Okay. So it talks about the because at the time of the Prophet we had two major empires. Okay. The Roman Empire. Okay. And the Persian Empire. Okay. Okay. The Roman now, Empire was. Now you're yeah. going to say about who won. Now this is where we have a problem. Okay. Your oldest Quran comes after that battle, so therefore you cannot substantiate that it's a prophecy. Our oldest Quran comes from. 
no, I told you the Quran exactly. is preserved in three ways. To what I'm saying three ways. This, wait, is, this wait, would wait. be another discussion. Wait, yeah. But, but the Quran is preserved wait. and preserved okay. in, in three ways. Okay. When, 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 when did the Prophet recite the Quran? When he received it. Okay. Therefore, this verse applies when he received the Quran. But we the authenticity of the Quran. This is a different prove argument. It. Prove it. This is a, I now we're gonna go to the authenticity of the Quran. Okay, go you on. said you All said right, you told on. me break revelations, yeah. break predictions. Okay, then you're okay. telling me let's yeah. go to the authenticity. Uh, yeah, of course. Another because time, prophecy, another time, I can that, go 100 percent with you. Because your claim would be that the let's, Dead Sea Scrolls came a hundred years after. A thousand no, years I told after you, Moses. Yeah. This is why I told you. So this I'm, is why I told yeah, listen, so I'm to this you. is why I told you. I accepted you. I accepted your prophecy. Why did I accept it? Because I don't want to go into the whole argument of the authenticity. But if you want to, if you want to hand the prophecy comes before Jesus, two hundred. Is. What I'm saying to you is this, I said to you, really clearly, yeah. if I hold your Quran to the same standards you yeah. hold in the Bible, yeah. it will not stand it up. Will, now let stand. me ask, you said to me yeah. that there was a 1000 year gap between the Dead Sea Scrolls and the Moses. Moses. Yeah. So I'm saying to you, there is a gap between that prophecy and the oldest Quran. Therefore, and we I'm cannot, and I'm on telling the you same why not. standard you're and using, and I'm telling you why not. down instantly. And I'm telling you why not, because this okay. verse was revealed yes. by the prophet when he recited it. This is Where, this the is proof? the time. Where's the proof? Now we're gonna go back to the authenticity. I, exactly. So your claim is prove wrong. To me, only it's okay, only proof to me that this is a different me. argument because proof. it's gonna take some time. I'm okay. not gonna go into it okay. right now. So, so you, therefore we can. Is it? Is it? You said you wanna conclude. Do you wanna? Yeah, conclude but I want on move? this point. I want you to. No, you 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 said. I want you to. Yeah, you said bring. Yeah, you said bring. I'll tell you the three ways of. Yeah, but I want you to. I'll tell you the three ways. I'll tell you the three ways. Reservation, yes, and you can accept them or reject them. Okay. We can discuss them an, another time, but they're gonna take a whole time because you're gonna discuss one. Just one give point. me a quick wrap of how to authenticate okay. this very uh, prophecy. Okay, because I'm saying to you that could have been written after because the Quran was written afterwards. It doesn't mean, mean anything. It was, it was I not, gave you it was something. Not, it was, it was yeah, compiled. But, yeah, but listen, compiled listen, afterwards. Listen to what I'm saying. This is different. You. Listen to my argument. I gave you. The, a prophecy from the book of Genesis. The Dead Sea Scrolls were written 200 years before Jesus. So that is a validation. So if it comes to pass, so it was before. It predates the prophecy. What you're giving me? So are you telling me this is your only standard? So all the, 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 the all the predictions in the in the New Testament. Yes. You, we we can't take them as a no, as no, a, as I'm a criteria. Saying to you, is this what you're saying? To what I'm saying. I said the criteria you use for the Bible. So that's why I went to time frame. Use the criteria. Because you said there's use a gap. It. I didn't you, use it. Did you say there's a gap this is about Moses? The, this is about the exactly. authenticity. So, authenticity. So not, that, not that prediction. When you gave me a prediction, I didn't yes. tell you the Bible is not true, therefore I'm not going to so, accept so it. This is what you're saying. Right there. This is what, look, Sub, yeah, substantiate. Look at the. Look at yeah, the look at I'm the asking double. you to because we're wrapping up. Substantiate. Okay. So now, how do we know this is authentic? All right. All right. First, we have three ways of. We already spoke about the, the Sana manuscript. The Sana, the Sana manuscript is the, at the Uthman type. You know, Uthmani, Uthmani manuscript. I don't think it's Uthman. You don't. What, what is it then? The Sana manuscript, not the one in the in Birmingham. The problem is, if you don't know, yes. you will have now to provide the evidence. Okay. This is your own your own as, as I, That's why I told yeah, you. That's if every I'm, point, I'm saying, if every point, we're gonna stop. What is the date of the San, Sana manuscript? Uh, I know, I know, it's in the Uthmani uh, period. I don't remember the exact date. But you you can research it online right now if you like. Okay. It's let, on let, Wikipedia. Let, it's let, on Wikipedia. Let's Anyone can research quick. it. Let's just go that quickly. That, anyway, so this, now make your point. We said we have Birmingham manuscript over okay. here at the time of the, of okay. the prophet. Are you telling me that the Birmingham manuscript is after this incident? It's not after this incident. This is okay. another one. The Birmingham, the, the oldest not, manuscript comes after the death of Muhammad. So anything he recited. If it's in the Quran, it comes after him. So therefore, the prophecy was during the time of Muhammad. Therefore, it logically follows that. Anyways, let's, let's go back to, to the criteria I was talking about. So I was saying yeah, first... So offer, you're, you're offer, authenticating the yeah, Quran. Yeah, I'm saying first, the carbon dated manuscript that we have. The, the writing comes after them. The carbon dated manuscripts that we have. We're going to we're gonna discuss yeah. it, no problem. Let's just let me finish the, the three points. Okay. <laughs> The, the second one is, we have chains of narration. Do you know what hadith is? Yes. What is a chain of narration? Basically? It's, a, it's a someone that repeats something that they heard, that they heard, that they heard. Yeah. Yes. And we can track back, unlikely, okay. to your sources, we can track We can track every person. So prove to me the, those people existed. Give me some sort of evidence that they existed. I can give you some biographies of the people. I can give you the biographies of the people. Can you, can I can you, give you biographies of the people. Can you give in me the, in contemporary the evidence that they existed? Writings or a book from that time? Because anyone can 
because that's Chinese whispers. They didn't anyone, have, they didn't anyone have the books can make, we have today. Anyone can make a claim. They didn't For have, example, I do you, told do you, you know what I'm saying? No. They didn't have the books. They, I'm they used to, to write it on leather. I'm saying to you, listen, to I'm holding standard. you to your same standard. I said to you, no, we no, 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 no. I'll tell you why you're not. I'll tell you why you're not. I said we have the books. You want to listen to me? You want to listen to me? Let me finish my point. You can respond. Because I said we have the books of the public corresponding what came before. He didn't accept that. So I'm saying to you, but if you, you want me to accept these people yeah. existed, you have to show me some contemporary evidence that okay. they existed. Okay. From so the look, time. Look at the criteria. Look at the criteria. Look at the criteria you talked about right now. Look at the criteria you talked about right now. My criteria is we have the names, biographies, whether they met the person. It could have been or invented or later on. It could have been. It's so you could. You could. It's it's not not invented invented in, in, I'll tell you why. I told him. I'm holding him to his same standards. I'll as tell you. I'll tell so you. Therefore, I do not. I'll tell you. I have to want. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you. Our Chinese no, 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 whisper okay, okay. is not. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what's historical because yes. you can track it back in many, in many places. You can track back. Did this person actually live at that time? Did he have the name? In circular history, you don't have to use the Islamic, okay. the Islamic literature. So, so when but we before, have, let me finish. When we have, you said you let me finish, isn't go it? Go so let me finish. Okay. This way, we will not be. We won't be able to speak. So our criteria is we have biographies of the people. You're telling me is it, contem wait, what? is it contemporary uh, writing biography? What do you mean by contemporary? As in it was written during the time that they existed, or is it from like if I go yeah, to, yeah, it's if, if I go to a book that it's written in, is the book three hundred years later, or is it from the time of that person that they existed? Depending on what you're talking about, are you talking about the Quran or are you talking for example, about? Hafs. Hafs, Hafs. Is, is the Quran you use, yeah? Like Hafs. recitation. Hafs is the reading, yeah, exactly. Recitation. So do you have contemporary evidence of Hafs existing? Yeah, we have. The, as I told you, chains of narration going back to the prophet. I said you have contemporary evidence. Because I this can say to you, this is why I told I you. What do you mean? Wait, because I said to you, for example, we have chains of narration from the prophet, prophet to prophet to prophet to prophet to prophet to prophet. You don't have that. Yes, we do. You don't have that. You don't. In the, the problem Talmud, is, no, you no, don't no, know. You don't, Talmud, you don't have the way you have it, But people. you rejected it. I gave you. I said. You said, give me outside evidence. No, I no, said, no, no. We can go to the you Talmud. You have the Nitzis scrolls. That, that we have the Talmud, yeah. which confirms the transmission. Yeah. You now have, you don't have the biographies of the people. You it doesn't have the matter. We have the. We this have, is the. We this have, is the idea. I'm telling you. You so said the same standards. You, you said. You said the same okay. standards. If you want to prove that you person existed, look. Show me contemporary evidence. Sorry. About 300. This whole conversation. I didn't ask you what's your name. Is it? Paperboy. Paperboy. Yes. This is as I told you. This is only a part of of what I was going to present okay. and we're arguing with it for 20 minutes. This is why I told you let's end, end on something positive. Yeah, but let's, we're, some, we're, let's find a mature ground over here. Yeah, but we're, we're we just, I'm just, because obviously you spent so much time talking about the Bible, but I'm say, that's why I said to you and I started yeah, off with I, the that's fact That's why you told me. If we hold you, that's the, you told the Quran me. to the same standards <laughs> you hold the Bible, you're going to have much difficulties no, 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 no. like backing up your I claim. told you why not. Yes. Because these people, you don't have the biographies. You say it doesn't matter, but this, it's not the same standard. We have then. the Bible it's called not, the Bible. It's not, it's not. We have the Bible called the Bible. That's why we, that's their Bible. Prove the Bible. Don't have the people. So, so, have so, 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 so wait, wait, wait. Right? We have biographies outside have, the Quran we, to prove the Quran. We have, we, we have, have the, biographies have the inside Tal the Bible to we prove have, the Bible. We have the Talmud. Ta ta do you right. understand my, my point? We have you. the Talmud. Listen, listen, listen. I'll so tell you. What you're saying again, is, your, your no, 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 no. You don't want to listen. You don't want to listen. You don't want to listen to me. You said you have biographies inside the Bible to prove the Bible. Okay. Who had the biography? Who, who wrote the finish. biography? Let me finish. Yeah, but who wrote the biography? Let me finish. Okay. I told you you can find it in secular history. Historians, not Muslims, Arabs, they wrote okay. that these people lived at this and what is certain that? age. Okay. They went from this place to this place. Okay. You can track it. I'll give you a name of the person. And you can go track it. His now let me ask you: What is the early? If, what is the earliest manuscript? Because this is testimony. Wait, wait, wait. Are you what is what is the earliest manuscript with the biographies? The earliest manuscript of the bear, I think, uh, I, I would say Al Bukhari, the authentic one. First three, one. no, two hundred years. About two to th so two to three. 200, you want no, me? Two hundred years. You want me years. to then accept something that came two hundred years later? Do you as understand? Do you, as, do you understand what it is? It's not the evidence. It's only telling you the names of the people so, in the narration. So not, and these people you can track. Then, you no, can track historic, contemporary look, look, look. evidence. The problem is you don't you don't listen to what I'm saying. Listen to it. Yes. this book, two hundred years. Okay. is only giving you the names of the people who narrated. Okay. These names you can go check historically did they exist or they didn't exist so the book itself is not the proof it's only telling you who narrated okay. where they lived did they meet this person or not were they trustworthy were they honest this is only one part the other part is the oral tradition that we have what is the oral tradition have you any idea what the oral tradition now, is now this is the fallacy he makes 
He's you don't want to go back to no, the no, tradition. Because do you? no, no, I don't. Let's, I don't, let's, I don't mind that. Let's but you're now. We'll go, we'll go back. He's we'll saying go back. that we'll go back. the Arab, we'll go back. We'll go back. Arab, Arab oral, oral tradition is fine. No but then when we go to the Jewish oral tradition, we reject it. This is what we call a I double standard. That. I didn't say that. So then, why I should I go to oral tradition? Because I've told you about the Talmud, and it's a, it was a bit given to the people. The people listening over here, they know what you said. You said you use the Bible to prove the Bible. This is the only contention. I said we have oral tradition. Listen to me. This is the only contention. We have Talmud. This is the only contention, contention I have. If you have evidence from outside the Bible, people, okay. Christians, okay. you have their biographies, you have chains of narration, then they're writing the Bible, I'm going to accept it. Okay. 100%. So, because it's the same standard. But you're going to have to have carbon dated uh, evidence. You're going to have to have oral tradition as we have. Okay. What is our oral tradition? The prophet used to recite the verses, people memorize the verses. But we have, but you, you're going to let me finish. But you can't give let me contemporary finish. evidence let of me these finish. people. Yeah. So therefore, it's not uh, evidence. The people who are actually memorizing, they have chains of narration as well. We call it Hafiz al Quran. You exactly. have something, it's called Ijaza. This Ijaza hey, is, can a, you, is but a Can you prove these people existed? You know, it's like me saying to you. Can you prove you, anything? It's like me saying to you. Can you prove anything? If you give, it's like, me, you it's like me saying to you. I'll tell you. I spoke to Michael Jackson yesterday <laughs> and he told me something from Elvis Presley. I'll tell you and the he problem. told me something I'll tell you the from problem. Martin Luther King. You know, you know what this you know testimony is? You know what testimony is? Testimony. Do you accept testimony? What kind of normal testimony, do you accept it as evidence? Do you accept it in your life, in, day, in your day to day yeah, life? Yeah, if I see the person, you do, yes. you do I, I, I understand it. Yes. Do you have to see the person? Contemporary evidence. Do you have to see the person? Contemporary evidence. Contemporary evidence. Yes. yes, if it's verified contemporary evidence. If it's something from a manuscript, you, 200 I'm saying years testimony. Later, I'm saying testimony. person could have been made no, no, up. I'll tell you the problem. The problem yes. is, I'm saying, my, what, what is our standard? Yes. Anything you could, you could argue, anyway. Anything anyone can bring, we could argue. You agree or disagree? Well, you no, bring, don't tell me you, you can. bring Anything. sufficient evidence, yeah. contemporary evidence. No, but listen to That's me. why, for example, when we talk about the New Testament and the life of Christ, we have the listen, gospel. Listen, let me finish. Wait, wait. Let me finish have because, the because my, I lost my we voice have, already. We have independent. Trust me, I lost my voice. Yeah, but, yeah, but let, let, let me, me just quickly wrap okay, this up. Okay, no, no. Let, let me. Because let, okay, you, you, let make me give you, a you make your statement. I'll make my statement. Okay. And we wrap it up. All right. Because, yes. Go ahead. Because even when we go to the New Testament, we have the, the Gospels, yes? We have the writings of Paul that all date within about 60 years of Christ. Of Paul in the Bible. We, they were all written independently. Then they'll collect... No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, they are, okay. in the, they are a part of the yes. Bible. Continue, no problem. So now we so have independent you. writings that were collected together. We also have independent um, scholars like um, Josephus, Tacitus, uh, Pliny, Pliny, the, uh, Pliny the Younger, who all testifying about uh, Jesus. Then we have the um, the church fathers, the oral tradition, the early oral, church. Which oral tradition? Apostolic church. The apo Are you so, telling me you have an oral tradition of the whole Bible? People memorizing of the, of the, it and passing listen, it down. Listen to what I'm saying. No of, problem. Of the story, I said of, when we go to the New Testament. Continue. I'm sorry to the, cut your statement. Yes, I'm I said, very sorry. I said that, you know, no, I, said I don't want to cut your statement. Anyway, okay, you're you still cutting. Yeah. But we, we have we have the yeah yeah. It's a conclusion. Yeah, let him finish. He's gonna finish. I'm gonna finish. Let me finish. So I'm saying. We have the apostolic church and the, even the early church fathers knew some of the earliest apostles. So you had an oral tradition was, which was passed down down the writers to the church. So even the church gave, even before that, the church gave birth to the, to the gospels. Not the gospels gave birth to the church. So it was always an oral tradition, then it was written down. And this oral tradition has continued. That's why you have like the Catholic Church or the Orthodox Church, because they have the early church fathers who wrote about these things. So therefore the evidence, we have contemporary, like you said, we have independent, like you said, we also have the scriptures and we have the beginning of the church, all within a very short time period. And also the spread of Christianity because people knew about Christ and his message. Therefore, this is very strong evidence. And when Jesus confirmed the Old Testament, we deem that as sufficient. So now, if you want to make your conclusion, okay. if you can bring me that I'm gonna make my no, no, I'm going to make my conclusion right now. The same level Are you done? Are you done of um, criteria. I'm going to make my conclusion yes. right now. So basically what we have what we have over here, I don't have to look at the cameras, that's why I'm telling you I'm talking. Yeah, yeah. So basically my conclusion is you guys have you don't have you have people that you quoted, you don't have their biographies, they don't know where they live, they will they actually uh, made the people they narrated of or not, which which historical time did they live in? These are I find problems with, with the people you quoted. Not all not only that, the people who wrote the gospels, you guys don't have their biographies. The people also you, who you're talking about who wrote the Gospels? You know, John, there are three, four people, the, 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 the Christian scholars disputing which John is it. Matthew, you know, your scholars say he didn't write Matthew. 
So this is the problem. No scholars say you, you, you said you, you, you want, you're not yeah, going to... You can't, you can't People, close on false, uh, false premises. I, I, left, I thought some of the things you said was false, but I didn't, I didn't stop you. This is the idea. Let no, me finish. And people can judge. Do you agree or you disagree? Anyways, uh, I was saying four Jones disputing uh, on them. Matthew, you don't know who, who's Matthew, what's his name. You can't give me his, 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 uh, his uh, family name. What's his third name, his first name, his last name? You don't have all these kinds of things. You don't have his age. You don't know all these kind of information, but you're ascribing the, the things to these people. This is the problem. And the problem is you, you're telling me we have the writings of Peter or whatever. These kind of things are compiled with the Bible as well. And they are a part of the Bible. You say this is also the word of God. So I cannot use it to prove that this is the word of God. This is circular reasoning. I cannot say the Quran because, because the Quran says inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna la wala hafid. We have sent we have sent out the revelation and we're gonna preserve it. I'm not gonna tell you because Allah says that, therefore the book the book is preserved. This would be wait, wait. circular reasoning. Wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. No 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 I'm gonna have to finish. Point. No no make me finish. Let me finish. What I gave you is, I told you oral tradition. Oral tradition is people memorize the Quran word for word from the mouth of the Prophet. You only have people who receive the, the Holy Spirit and they wrote the writings. We have people receiving the, the Quran word by word from the mouth of the Prophet and they memorized it. They taught it to the other people. We Today we have millions of people memorizing the Quran. They don't speak that's, the language. This is, this is, this is, this is... Yeah, but, come, but, yeah, but you got it. Yeah, but you got it. Anyways. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna finish it right here, no problem. So, we have the oral tradition, millions of people memorizing today from the time of the Prophet. We have the, the uh, carbon dated manuscripts, and we have the uh, prophetic traditions, and all these kinds of things are outside of the Quran. We don't use something from the Quran to prove the okay. Quran. Can However, I this is ask you one question. Okay, no problem. Can you ask, give me... Is it going to be quick? Yeah. Because, uh, trust because me, you said... My voice you, is gone. Okay, you said you have stuff from outside the, the Quran, yeah. yes? Can you give me one independent non-Muslim who uh, confirms... I told you Arabs. Uh, Arabs of the time, they have... They have the historical than than you listen, no, 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 listen to what no I'm problem. saying. I'm anyways, saying, anyways, okay, anyways. It's, it's, yeah, but no, no, it's been... Yeah, but I'm coming here, I think, almost every Sunday. So we can speak again. Yeah, but just answer that question. I'm saying the name... Just give me the name of one person yeah. who independent of the time confirms what's in the, the Quran. One person. I'm sorry. Huh? How does he confirm what's in the Because you said you have outside of the Quran people confirming. You said the Arabs. I'm saying we I'm have saying people, the, we have people, yeah, I'm saying Muslims, you, yeah, Muslims and non-Muslims. So who's the non-Muslims? The non-Muslims are the historians who wrote like the biographies. Which, listen, listen to me. Like, yeah, give me the name. I, I, let me, let me beg you. I think Ibn al-Haytam. I think Ibn al-Haytam is a Muslim. Yeah, he's a Muslim, yes. Yeah, Ibn al-Haytam. Let me find you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, Ibn al-Haytam. Let, 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 let me give you some And tell me when you live. That's all I want to know. Because you, you made a claim independent. No problem, no problem, no problem. These people are not confirming the Quran. These people are writing biographies because of the idea biographies of who of the people you find narrating. Why, as a proof that these people so, live in so this wait, time? So they, they weren't Muslims, but then they were writing the biographies. Of not the writing history. They're writing history. Okay, yeah, give me but the, the, yeah, yeah, give me the name. Give me the name. Me, he wants me to bring well, it. Yeah, if you, so you, I have to research it. Well, this is the problem. So now you made a claim. No, I, I have read the names. I have okay. read the names. So you, but but I don't you remember made a claim it. that it was verified by independent. You can people, research it, but you cannot give this, me the name. This is the idea. You can research it. Any person. So, so any person who's. who's, who's but you no, 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 at no, the no. moment. You have to wait, listen wait, to me. You have to at listen. the moment, it's an unsubstantiated. We'll go back to what you say. You agree? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's No, no, no. I said. No, no, no. What's unsubstantiated? Let me clarify. What's unsubstantiated is you made the historians that talked about some of the people. Who are or the people who are narrating? Can you substantiate? This is, this is what I cannot substantiate right that's now. That's what I'm saying. But I'll yes. bring the evidence later. Or okay. No problem. So that's what well, I can research it right now. That's fine. Let's, let me research it. That's fine. Because obviously, you know, just a close. Let me. Let me. Let you, me. you made a claim that there's independent evidence, but we do not know this independent evidence. That's what not strength. Not, not relating to the Quran. Relating to the people who. Because you told yes, me, how do I know exactly. that these people so, live? But then, how do I know that these biographies exist? Exactly. So, because they exist so, in. So if you want to look for it, let, if yeah. we see each other next week, that's fine. But we we have completely different standards of argumentation because no one heard from Allah, no one saw Jibril apart from one person, Muhammad. Therefore, there's your circular argumentation. Allah said so. No, actually, it was from the mouth sorry, sorry. of Muhammad. Now, now you're. 
I'm, I'm not hearing what you're saying, but you're making another conclusion. We have already, we have already concluded. So this is not fair, you know. This is intellectual dishonesty, you know. All right, cool. Anyways, inshallah, I'll bring you the evidence next week. Okay. Yeah, as we see, um, I think I got a little bit roped into his tactics of just kind of really pedantic points and you know we have the burden of proof so when you have something that's the status quo it's like if you're making a claim against it then you have to prove your point because as we saw he was bringing points of conjecture and it wasn't really going anywhere so I thought he would be more um, kind of genuine in his argumentation but it became circular in its argumentation and he wasn't really accepting things with sticking up on a very rigid definition but as I've said you know, when you apply that same standard to the Quran, then we have problems because then he's appealing to oral tradition. Everyone has oral tradition, but you're not accepting it. You know, he's appealing to contemporary evidence, but when it's the profiles of these people, we don't have any contemporary evidence. So therefore, it's something that can be is unsubstantiated. For example, Muslims will say the Gospels came like, you know, 30 years after Christ. It came much later. But when you're reading confirmations or biographies of people that are written down 200 years later, why are we then expected to accept this double standard? And this is the thing that I was trying to highlight. But obviously the conversation was going on for a while and we didn't have enough time. But highlighting the double standard in uh, standards of evidence where they'll accept one thing that confirms the Quran because we know all the traditions came from Muslims there were no independent people but even with the Bible and the New Testament particularly with the story of Christ we have independent attestation as well which makes the story of the crucifixion very strong so uh, we keep pushing this narrative and we see that there's a big double standard but no one can uh, you know people try and attempt to undermine the historicity of the Bible but they continually uh, fail you know we have the Dead Sea Scrolls and as I showed him we have a prophecy in the book of Genesis which talks about the exact time the Messiah would come and it says that the, 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 the scepter the rulership of, is, of uh, Judah will not depart until the Messiah comes and this is what we see in even the Jewish scriptures that they called Shiloh they was the Messiah and this is something that was uh, fulfilled so the Bible has a very strong criteria of authenticity is the prophecies of the Messiah which it dictates a timeline and the timeline was fulfilled so therefore we can conclude that the Bible is an inspired book and uncorrupted